Introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Josh, and we are Kinzuk. Alzuk is strong and fast and pretty awesome. I'm Robert, and we're Dragonite, and our Zook's going to win because it's tough, agile, and amazing. Hi, I'm Grace, and we're Gallic 3, and we're going to win because we're flexible and massive. Hi, I'm James, and we're Harvester. We're going to win because we're powerful, and KO, speedy, and the best. Street race selected. Maintain radio silence. He's on his way. The authorities are asking citizens to be on the alert for any unusual or suspicious behaviour. Police are searching for a man in his 70s. The individual is understood to be the leader of an underground organisation known as Bamzuki. The secretive group are believed to be behind the recent spate of civil disturbances. They're on to us, boys. Let's get on with it. On the inside, Galak 3. You would want to get behind her in the dinner queue. Next up, Harvester. He's got legs coming out of his ears. Oh, or is that the other way around? In trap three, King Zook. He looks like a Rubik's Cube. Can he twist and turn like one? And finally, Dragon Eye. There's a buzz about this little fella. We're ready to roll. And away we go. And, and it's Harvester who shows first. But oh, look at that at the back. A collision between Dragon Eye and King Zook. Well, not so much a collision as Dragon Eye hitching a lift on King Zook's back. Well, it is Bamzuki Street Rules. Anything goes. Harvester, though, has the lead into the right hander, followed by Galak 3, who's sort of lumbering around a little bit there, but just holding on to his tail. And Dragon Eye and King Zook here, another little coming together. They're really up for it today, these two. Well, this is the first chance we get to see these Zooks in a straight race. Remember, the winner gets to choose who they face in the head to head. And that's looking like it might be Harvester. Takes that left hander really well. Galak 3 dropping behind a bit. Hasn't quite got the turning capacity of Harvester. But here's where the excitement is back in third and fourth place. But that's not worrying Harvester as he lengthens his stride. Yeah, keep trying, boys. Into the final straight now. Here comes Harvester. Turns beautifully. Galak 3 making no impression on that lead. Harvester it is down this back straight. He's cheered on by his team. And, well, they deserve to be delighted. He's a worthy winner. There they are. Here he comes over the line. A superb performance. Through the curtain and into the arena. But let's keep an eye on Galak 3. His time could be important if he makes it to the finale. Fastest loser could straight through. Well, <laughs> here's the fight for the wooden spoon between Dragon Eye and King Zook. And King Zook's got it from Dragon Eye. Well, at least they finished. So, Harvester wins the all-important right to choose his next opponent. The far from speedy Dragon Eye and King Zook looking likely victims. Team captains, follow me. Congratulations on making it this far. You are here to prove that your Zook's got what it takes to be a champion. And I'm here to keep an eye on the talent. The competition is set on three levels. On each level, your Zook will face a different test and a different opponent. And on each level, one Zook will be left behind. Until we have two Zooks to face the ultimate Zook challenge. But who's it going to be? Well, it's a tough choice for Harvester. The next round's still a mystery. Does he pick the heavyweight, Galak 3? Or take a chance on one of these two slow coaches, King Zook or Dragon Eye? Decisions, decisions. Welcome to the lair. They tried to shut us down, so as you can see, we've gone underground because nothing stops a Zookster. What's the first rule of Bamzuki? You don't, you don't talk about Bamzuki. All right, what's the second rule? Um, 
No socks with sandals. Can't be too careful when it comes to fashion, eh, Jeb? Too true. So, James, who's it going to be? Dragonite. An interesting choice. James, why have you gone for Dragonite? I just think it'll be a good target for our team. Bear in mind that they're small and feeble while we're the complete opposite. So you think that being small and feeble gives you an advantage, is that right? Yeah. OK, well, let's put that logic to the test. Feast your eyes on this, beauty. It's Zook Chicken. And here's Mimi and Peachy to show you how to play. Zook Chicken requires nerves of steel and a very fast and agile Zook. Tag as many posts as you dare before sounding the retreat and unleashing one of the twins. It's all about who dares wins in this game. Get home safe and the Zook with the most points takes it. But get caught and it's curtains. Oh, Mimi, that's going to hurt. Welcome, teammates. Come and take a seat. So, James, Zook Chicken, think you've made the right call? I think so. Really? Yes. Well, there's no time for doubting anyway. Look, the Zooks are there, they're all set up, ready to go. Let's have the sign of the rock. Yeah, you're ready to do battle. It's the best of three. Dragoneye up against Harvester. Bring it on. Away they go, and we know that Harvester is the quicker of these two Zooks, and look at that! Already he scored two to Dragonite's one. Dragonite really is slow, so Harvester is already in the lead, so technically they could call him to retreat now, but look at this, he's going for another over the back of Dragonite. He's got four. When are they going to call him back? Well, now is the answer, and Punker is released, but Harvester's home with time to spare. So, Harvester won the first round, but how will he fare in the second? Will he, uh, will he come a cropper? Because <laughs> Harvester and crop... It's time no. for round two. And this is one Dragonite's got to win, else he's into the Eliminator. <laughs> Away they go. Harvester again. Well, the quicker of the two, we know that. Into an early lead. 2-1. So, how is he going to play it this time? He knows he's got the pace. Is he going to push it? Well, it looks like he's, he's playing it pretty much the same as the first round. Is that going to stand him in good stead? He's got four. They shout retreat. Oh, but this time it's Punk and it's oh, disaster for Harvester. But <laughs> look at Dragonite. They are top of the world. One all. <laughs> what a comeback from Dragonite. Bring on round three. Bring it on indeed. It's the decider. Who's going to do it? <laughs> Away we go. Harvester, they know he's the quicker of these two zooks. So when are they going to call him to retreat? Well, not yet. He makes his way over. And he bundles him out of the way. Scores the point and retreats. Perfect. Oh, well, you'd have thought it would be perfect. But he's got caught. Show the part that Zook doesn't always win. Harvester really did come a cropper. We'll be seeing you in the Eliminator. Which means congratulations to Dragonite. You're going through to the next round. Yay! Well done. Well, we didn't see that one coming. Victory for the underdog. Well, under Zook. Now, this might be Zook chicken, but keep an eye out for foul play. Oh, Barney, that was a real turkey. Teams, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Good. Here comes your countdown. Galact 3 up against King Zook. Clash of the colourful. Well, we know Galact 3 is the quicker of these two, but what's a turning like? Well, they turn now. Oh, they turn right into each other. Galact 3 clambering over the top of King Zook and, well, making a real mess of that. King Zook scores a second point, retreats. Here comes Punker, but King Zook is home. That means Punker heads to Galact 3 and has got her. Well done, King Zook. You mustered your way there to two points, but two points, you chicken. It might be Zook chicken, but come on, that was Zook wimp. Go for the points this time. Let's have a longer game. Ready for this? Let's get stuck in. Here's the countdown. First blood to King Zook, so Galak 3 really needs this one. <laughs> Away they go. Turn. 
Well, well, they're heading right into each other again, but they've wriggled free, and King Zook gets his second point, but, oh, Galak 3 is called, and Kalicious is released, <laughs> but they're both going to make it home. Galak got there first, so with the points level, she takes it. Galak 3, great Zooking, good looking. I think we can see here you've both got very similar tactics, but how is that going to fare in round three? Who's going to have the edge? We're about to find out. Here's the countdown. Here we go. The decider. <laughs> How are they going to play this one? Galak 3 gets a point. They're cheered on. King Zoop gets a point. They head together. One of the twins waits. It really is tense. What's going to happen next? Well, King Zoop gets called. Oh, that means Galak 3 has to go for the point. But Punkalicious shows no mercy. You know what, Joshua? That was roasted, southern fried, piri piri chicken. But it worked for you. Congratulations. King Zook, you're through to the next round. And Grace, I know you shouted for treat, but Galaxy didn't quite make it there. So unfortunately, we're going to be seeing you in the Eliminator. Well, confirmation should you need it. The Galak 3 heads to the Eliminator. <laughs> OK, the formalities are now over. This is the last chance saloon. So far, only pride has been wounded. But this is where the going gets tough and the duff get going. Let's see what the Zooks have in store for you. Yes, everybody, get your barometers at the ready. It's Pressure Pusher. Pressure Pusher is a game of strength, speed, agility and judgment. Push the barrel into your opponent's half, then sound the retreat and return to safety. Pick your moment, then attack again. The key to this game is timing. If the barrel's in your opponent's half when the bell goes, you're the winner. Get caught on the wrong side of the line, you lose. Simple, yeah? Well, it would be if only you knew how much time you had. Galak 3, Harvester. Good luck. Stand by your zooks. This one's all about nerve and timing. You can feel the tension. Because Galak 3 and Harvester are fighting to stay in this competition. Who is it going to be? Both being urged to attack, and it looks like Harvester has the edge over Galak 3 there. Just got the barrel into her half. Well, should they call Harvester to retreat? Well, that's, that's what the game is, all about tactics. Galak 3 pushing away with her eyes there. Surely that hurts. Harvester, when's he going to retreat? Well, they're both still attacking, and if Harvester gets caught there, he's going to lose this. Surely they've got to call him back soon. Galak 3 making no impression. And they've called him back. He turns slowly, but he's in his own half. And straight away, Galak 3's got the barrel over the line. Oh, now would be a good time to finish if you Galak 3. Oh, and it has! Unbelievable! Harvester out. And it's only going to get worse. Galak 3, congratulations. Well done. Harvester, great effort. But there's no room for passengers on this ride. It's time to crush that creature. <laughs> Yes, the BBC would like to point out that no Zooks were hurt during the making of this show. Well, apart from that one, that must make you feel awful, guys. How do you feel seeing that? I'm all right. You all right? James? Well, at least we tried and got here. Exactly. You tried, you got here, you are on the telly, and Harvester represented. And he won the first race. He was a cool Zook. Yeah. Well done, mate. Well, nature is a cruel mistress. And here's Bamzuki's resident Zook expert, Dr Vigo, with some comforting advice for you. Some of us are just blessed with a great pair of legs. Even my girlfriend Ursula is jealous of these hairy love sticks. But you know, in the Zook world, legs aren't just things of beauty. No, they are the key to a Zook's agility. So, I have joined Mimi for some agility practice. Regular trampolining helps develop a Zook's coordination and it is really very good indeed for toning up the old knee muscles. Plus, look! Wow! It's obviously great fun! All I need now is my super cool special safety gear. Super cool! Wow! Look at Mimi! She can bounce really high! 
Well, she has got the advantage of having four more legs than me, but I will not let that stop me. Look out, Mimi! Here I come! Woo! <laughs> Super Mimi! Sorry! Hopefully, she'll bounce back. What is he a doctor of, exactly? Anyway, earlier on, Harvester took the streets by storm and then got tripped up by Dragon Eye and Zook Chicken. Shock result! On the other side of the draw, King Zook outmaneuvered Galak 3, leaving the two fastest Zooks in the heat to fight it out in the Eliminator, where Harvester blew it again. Fix that one, Dr Vigo. <laughs> Here we are. Welcome to level two. Now, you can put your rivalry aside for now. It doesn't matter, because on this level, it's against the clock. And here's a little something to get the adrenaline flowing. Yeah, you might well say that. It's Boulder Nash. Yeah, come on then, Beast. Here he is. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Boulder Dash is to rescue the lovely Mimi from an undignified exit. Shout go to set your zook in motion and time your run to avoid the boulders and climb the ramps to save Mimi. If you get to the top before time runs out, then you'll save the day. And Mimi, if you don't, watch yourself, because this is one lady you want to keep sweet. Sorry, Mimi. <laughs> OK, it's a three-way race. The best two Zooks go through to the final and get ringside seats for the next elimination, which, of course, is where the loser will be headed. Any questions? Good. Dragon Eye up first. Team Dragon Eye, step forward. Let's play Boulder Dash. Well, Dragon Eye told to go straight away, makes his way up that first round, and the boulder, boulder's going right over the top of him. Well, he's so low to the ground, the rolling over the top of him. He's told to go again. He's on the second ramp, slightly steeper, slightly heavier boulders, but he's coping just as well. This is pretty good from Dragon Eye. He's a small zoo, but that's playing into his hands on this challenge. They call him again, and up he goes. The final ramp gets hit there. Here comes another boulder. Oh, that one's really got him. Spins him in the air. Oh, disaster, and he's caught on the side. Well, he's making no more progress. The clock ticks down. Well, it's good, but not good enough for Mimi. Team Dragon Eye couldn't quite recover there from being flipped over. What happened? I think it was just there was one too many boulders and we went a bit early, but oh well. How do you think the next two teams are going to do? Do you reckon you've done enough? I hope so, but I'm not certain. Well, we're about to find out. It's time for round two. King Zook up next. Team King Zook, are you ready? Yes. OK, good luck. It's time to play Boulder Dash. <laughs> Well, a very definitive go there for King Zook, and go he does, albeit quite slowly. Well, look at the design of this Zook, he's nice and low. How's he going to fare? Are the boulders just going to roll over the top of him? Well, there's your answer, no, but he just pushed it out of the way. First ramp accomplished. Second ramp now. It's a little bit steeper, the boulders are a bit heavier. But hang on here, King Zook having all sorts of trouble even getting onto the ramp. Is he caught or...? No, he's just got no traction. He, he's just stuck there. His little ears poking over there. Well, he can hear him being told to go, but he can't make any progress. Yeah, you can shout all you like. He hasn't got the traction. He's pretty much stuck there on that first platform. The clock ticks down. That ain't good enough. Mimi, yet again, takes the punishment. And there goes Mimi. Sam, how do you feel you did? Gutted. What? I think we've got a chance. It's all about how yellow do, how the yellow do, so. Do you really think you've done well? Do you think you're through to the next round? Uh, I don't know. It's up to them. OK, so you're hoping they don't do as well as you just did, yes? Yes. OK. Well, you're right. It does all hang in round three. Three. <laughs> 
So, Grace, has Gallic 3 got what it takes to rescue Mimi and secure herself a place in the final? I think so. We're about to find out. It's time to play Boulder Dash. <laughs> well, Gallic 3 knows what she's got to do. She's just got to get past that first platform. But look at this! Climbing over the boulder as well. We've not seen that before. And, well, that's probably why. Because it's not a particularly good idea. Gallic 3 bouncing around. Right, Emily. Well, this is this is turning into a disaster. Look at this. She can't even get down on her legs to get up the ramp. Now she's got some clear air. Surely she can get now to that first platform. She's trying to go over the top again to get battered. Oh, Galak three. This is terrible. I mean, how bad must Galak one and two have been if this is number three? She's being buffeted all over the place. Time is running out now. Can she get to that first platform? Well, she gets covered again. It's a no. She is out. And there goes Mimi Grace. There was quite a collection of balls at the bottom of that ramp, wasn't there? Good try, though. Now, one Zook is heading for elimination. Well, it's not Dragon Eye, it's not King Zook, it's Galak 3. Bad luck. So, congratulations, Dragon Eye and King Zook. We'll see you both in the finale. Well done. Yeah! Woo! And we loved Galak 3, just not quite enough. This Zook's going out with a bang. <laughs> I think I'm seeing a darker side to you that I've never seen before. <laughs> Look, this is Bamzuki, not Pet Rescue Barney. We're looking for a champion. Yeah, quite right. Well, let's see if Dr. Vigo can make any sense of it. Wow, Zooks are so in fashion right now. It seems they are everywhere. Huh? See? I am being bombarded with calls. Let's see, who is this now? Hello, Dr. Vigo. Welcome to my show. I want to introduce you to my Zook. He's in here. His name is Bossy Rossi. Oh, it's Bossy, but he's part of the family, so he's a Rossi. He's a little bit shy, but come on, come on, little fella. How you come? Hey, what are you doing? You're naked. This is a this is a glamour show. You should really dress apart. Get back in there. Get back in there. Back in there. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. He's really showed me up there. I feel quite embarrassed. You ready yet? Yeah? You look ready. Okay, here he's gonna come out now. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, is that an impressive zook or what? Yeah. Uh, how you seen a lot of cool. Great to hear from you, Jonathan Ross. Great zook. <laughs> I think I might have to go X directory. This is the action as it went down. Street speedster Harvester fell foul of Dragon Iron Chicken, then met Galak 3 in the pressure pusher, where he slipped up again. So long, Harvester. King Zook looked likely to be the next to go in Boulder Dash, but incredibly, Galak got caught on a boulder and couldn't get off the mark. King Zook and Dragonite now face off in the finale. Slow and steady wins the day, eh? Feeling nervous? Yeah. Yeah, you should be. Most teams don't even make it this far. Welcome to level three. Now, as you can probably tell, your Zook's going to be battling it out outside again. This time, not at street level but down there on the rooftops of those buildings. Whoa. Let's take a closer look at the course. Well, from the start, it's up the ramps. Easier said than done. Turn and through the sliding doors and then into Aerial Alley, which will be under cannon fire. Across the reactor core and into your pipeline, where the traffic will be coming the other way. Get past that and you've got Snapple Jacks nipping at your heels before the final turn and the Colossi. If you can get past them, you're the winner. Well, it's easy. So, we've got two top contenders here. We've got King Zook and Dragoneye. I think Dragoneye might be a bit faster. You know, I'm going King Zook on this one. He's got powerful legs, you know, he's, uh, he's strong. What do you reckon? Definitely Dragoneye. Well, you would say that. You would say. Well, what is it about King Zook that makes him so good? He's fast. He's yeah. Strong. It's awesome, it's, it's really good. Well, for a place in the semi-final, and of course to win the hearts and minds of the nation, it's the final countdown. Well, here we go. 
go. Dragonite against King Zoot. They started the show having a bit of a set to, albeit only for third and fourth place. And who would have thought they'd be here in the final? But they are, and they've started quite slowly, if I'm honest. Anyway, Dragoneye has reached the top of the ramp and turns first. A bit of a stutter there as he goes past the first sliding door. And well, he looks he looks like he's got a bit caught on that second sliding door, which is giving King Zook the chance to nip through on the inside. Well, King Zook takes the lead, nearly gets pushed off, but he's in the lead as they turn now into Aerial Alley. Well, the cannons knocking down the poles here. This is really tricky for them. Well, they're coping pretty well there, and King Zook just holding on to the lead. Dragonite trying to ride on his back like he did earlier on, almost pushing him across the reactor core there. This really is neck and neck. King Zook now, he's about to turn into the pipeline. And here come the boulders. How are they going to deal with these? Well, pretty well, if I'm honest. King Zook clearing a path for Dragonite there, but he still holds the lead. Well, Dragonite getting buffeted a little bit, losing a tiny bit of ground, but he's caught up again. Here come the Snapplejacks, and well, look at... Oh, goodness me, Dragonite flipped over, but manages to flip himself back. It almost happens to King Zook. Well, in fact, it does, and again to Dragonite. Unbelievable. And somehow, through all of that, Dragonite's come out in the lead. Down now towards the Colossi. Dragonite with a healthier lead. Oh, he gets absolutely clobbered there. And again, and that means King Zook has gone back into the lead. He snatched it at the death. Unbelievable. That is classic Bamzuki. on his platform with fireworks going off. He must feel amazing. Oh, we're over the moon. We're so proud of him. He's, he's done as well. He's done very well. It's all in the design, of course. Well done, guys. Thank you. Well, confirmation there. King Zoop wins an epic finale. So, commiserations to Team Dragonite. You are down, but you're not out. You may still make it as the fastest loser. Stay tuned. Well, there's three slots available, and Dragonite's first on the board. But is that time good enough? Only time will tell. Next time, four more brave Zooks run the gauntlet. Don't forget to check out the website for latest Team Challenge action and update information on the winners and fastest losers. So, which show rules? Banzuki Street rules! Oi, that was my line. Hey, you guys, have you downloaded the new Zook kit yet? Well, do it. Create amazing creatures and race them against your friends. There's an alien trapped in the internet and we've got to find it. It will take human ingenuity to find its precise location. That could be really dangerous. We have to find it fast, which we can't do on our own. Not everyone has what it takes to do what we do. We need help. Right, come on, you lot, let's do this. To join the monster hunt, or to see secret cast diaries, the Sarah Jane Adventures trailer maker, and lots more, go to the CBBC website and click on the Sarah Jane Adventures. CBBC. Hacker, did you love brand new Bamzuka that was just on the CBBC channel? Yeah. Did you love brand new Sarah Jane Adventures that have been on BBC One yeah. all for the past couple of months? Yeah. Hacker, do you love music? Yeah. Just as well I've got this then. Hello! <laughs> it's Eden Hacker's Wheel of Music. Yeah, explanatory. Dober. Well, today we're loving music, so we have got a wheel covered in celebrities' faces huh? and Hacker. And we're going to spin it right now. It'll land on one of their faces and they will tell us their favourite song of the moment. <laughs> And yes. Spin that wheel. Spin the bad boy. Wheel. And watch it go. Look at the wheel. <laughs> the wheel. Look at the wheel. The wheel. It is. It. Oh. <laughs> it's Hacker. I dread to ask, but Hacker, we've got loads of chart stuff, but what's your favourite song at the moment? <laughs> I can only imagine. It's Dancing Queen by ABBA. From the past. 
Okay, so let's read out some of your guys' emails. We've got one here from Erin in the Isle of Man. She says, Dear Eden Hacker, do you want me to help you out with this? Wonder my dear. Oh, mama mia. <laughs> So Erin says, I love music, I play the violin and I love it. Brackets, hacker, there's nothing wrong with a man who plays the violin. Like Get that idiot! <clears throat> coming, coming from a dog wearing a pink... Erin, oh. we whip it round again for me. <laughs> it's gone awry. Yeah. I don't even know if it's worth the effort, really. It there is it always worth it, Erin. <laughs> you look... Yeah. You look... <laughs> you look fabulous. <laughs> Got another email here from Alice. <laughs> She says, hi, Ian and Hacker. I absolutely love music. It's my favourite thing, and JLS so deserve to be number one. Well, they're only in on Friday. No big deal. Ian? No, what? They should wear feather power. I don't... I'd like they'd be probably number 100 if they'd done that. Yeah. And she also says, I'm about to have... Uh, I'm about to leave to go to orchestra, which is great. Why do you think orchestra's great, Hacker? Because they play more Not because they play music. Because we get sweets for low prices at break. <laughs> No poor tweet, I'm there! I want to budget sweets! Well, as was mentioned earlier on, JLS are in on Friday, and if you guys have a question for the guys, please send it in to us at cbbc at bbc.co.uk. Get them in before 6 30 tomorrow night, and we'll be reading them out to JLS on Friday afternoon. But in the meantime, you guys sit back and watch some MI High.